Hard decorum. I met an aeronaut. He has a real balloon and everything. Lyra, this is Dr. Lancelius. Hello. Lyra Balacqua. I've heard so much about you. You have? Hard decorum. Let's not waste the young lady's time by beating around the bush. You have something you wish to ask me? Indeed, then. I'll ask bluntly. Do you have any information regarding an organization capturing children and bringing them north? Now, before I continue, please understand that only your relationship with Serafina Piccola affords you access to this knowledge. Understood. And of course, this information did not come from me. Of course. There is an organization, the Northern Progress Exploration Company, which is actually a front for the General Oblation Board. They pretend to search for minerals, but instead, they import children. I do not know where they take them, however. Are there any children here now? No. The last group left by sledge the day before yesterday. I see. Thank you for your time, sir. Before you go, may I ask a question? Of course. I understand that you are in possession of an alethiometer. How did he know? Yes. Would you like to look at it? I should like that very much. How exquisite. I would recommend that no one else in town see you in possession of that item. And do you have the books of reading? Unfortunately, no. I can read it without them. Is that so? May I see? What do you want me to ask it? What are the intentions of the Tartars with regards to Kamchatka? Aha!
that's it. It says they're going to pretend to attack, but they're not really going to, since it's too far away and they'd be stretched out. Interesting. Thank you. May I ask for one more demonstration? Of course. Outside there are a number of bows. Can you find the one that was used by Serafina Pecala? Sure. I bet I can. Aha! Do you know who this child is? I'm not sure what you mean. The witches have a prophecy about the Chosen One. A girl who will save the world and all of us in it. And you think that refers to Lyra? I do indeed. But part of the prophecy dictates that she must fulfill this destiny in ignorance of what she is doing. Because only in her ignorance can we be saved. Do you understand that, Father Corum? No. I am unable to say that I do. What it means is she must be free to make mistakes. We must hope she does not, but it is not our duty to guide her. I think this is the one. I'm very impressed. Thank you. Before I take my leave, Dr. Lancelius, is there any other advice you might give to me? Well, let us say that if I were to mount an expedition against the child thieves, I would attempt to enlist the services of an armored bear. I heard the Panzerbjorn were hired by the General Oblation Board. They were, but there is a renegade that may be found behind Einerson's bar in the evenings. I would imagine his services to be invaluable. I will speak to him. Thank you for everything. Of course. A pleasure, Father Corum. And a privilege to meet you, Lyra. Nice to meet you too, Dr. Lancelius. Come now, Lyra. We should speak with this armored bear. Uh-oh. I'd recognize that buzzing anywhere. Doric Bernison, may I speak to you? We want to offer you employment. I am employed by the townspeople. What kind of work is that for a panzer Bjorn? Eric Bernison, why are you wasting your time here? I stay because the people of this town gave me spirits. Then they took my armor away. War is the sea I swim in. Without my armor, I am nothing. A bear's armor is his soul, as your demon is your soul. It must have been terrible to lose your armor. 
It was no less than I deserved. I fought another bear in single combat and was defeated. Shame. I would have rested a little easier at night with him in tow. What do you mean? The townspeople won't be too keen on returning his armor, and certainly not on our account. Eh, no matter. We'll make do. I'll meet you back at the ship, young lady. We need to help him find his armor, Pan. Ask the alethiometer. 